Hello everyone and welcome to A Day in the Life of Me. So the day this was filmed was a Sunday which can only mean one thing for me as an equestrian photographer and that is an event to photograph. But first things first I have two very impatient boys to sort out who would be very annoyed if I left them to their own devices while I went to photograph an event so they do get sorted before I leave. Early this morning I came down and I fed them, I gave them their hay at around 7am, then go home and get breakfast for myself before walking back to the yard at around 8am to make a start on their stables. So today, with it being a Sunday, it was full muck out day, which means we get all of their straw, everything out of their stables, and we chuck it on the muck heap, we just gut the stable. So the first pony, or should I say horse, I mucked out was Reggie. Reggie is my new horse. He's a 16.3 thoroughbred and he's 8 years old. So far with Reggie we have just hacked and we've had fun but this summer I'm really looking to crack on with some jumping and lots of lessons so I'm really looking forward to the future with this boy. Now, I can't take all the credit for this muck out because I had my lovely mum and brother helping me today. We had my brother on his tractor doing muck runs and my mum doing hay nets and water and just helping me out with the endless shoveling because I will be the first to say Bugsy and Reggie are not the tidiest horses in town. This tractor has been a huge lifesaver on the yard my brother got it in lockdown as a broken down lawnmower, fixed it up and now it is used as a trusty muck truck which I am forever grateful for because it has saved my legs so much work. After my brother has hitched up his tractor it's time to go and get straw and shavings from the barns and in true Bugsy fashion when he thought no one was looking he grabbed a bite of poor Teddy the Donkey's treats. While Mum and George empty the muck truck, I will usually make sure the ponies are behaving outside their stables before joining Mum and George to get straw to put down for Reggie. And as always, the ponies were behaving perfectly, although Bugsy had found himself a new toy in Teddy's head collar, which quickly got taken away from him. I then quickly run back to the straw barn after spoiling Bugsy's fun to help load up a bale of straw which was destined for Reggie's stable. Now, on the yard we have a humongous pile of shavings which is primarily used for the cows but the farmer very kindly lets us use some for the ponies' beds. It just makes them that little bit more absorbent and comfortable because straw isn't the most absorbent material in the world. This is definitely my favourite job on the yard because it's so satisfying digging into a huge pile of shavings. However, fitting it into the bags is not so satisfying. Fast forward back to the stables and Reggie is playing with one of the shavings bags, his end goal being knocking it over which he does achieve later on in the mucking out process. Each of the boys gets their own bags of shavings which we place outside the door before putting them inside. We use them as a base for the beds. It just means that the wee gets absorbed by the shavings and the top layer of straw gets left nice and dry for the ponies to lie on. And here is Ted the donkey having a play. He loves playing with hands, which I find adorable. Moving on, before we put the shavings down, we do have to sweep the stable out thoroughly. And now it is time for those shavings. This is also one of my favorite jobs because it's just so satisfying seeing the nice fresh stuff go down, knowing it'll be really good for the ponies and just keep them comfortable. How satisfying is this? When I'm doing it, I honestly feel like one of those TikTok ASMR people. It's just the best job. Building Reggie's bed is a real process because, let me tell you, this horse loves to lie down and he needs a big bed, he's a big boy, he deserves a big bed as well, so I have to build his walls quite big.
It is then time for the straw. This is one of my favourite things to do as well. I know, I have a lot of favourite things to do. It's just a fun process. You get to spread the straw about, make the bed look nice and comfy. I love fresh beds. And never forget to take your string and scissors out of the stable after you have cut your bale of straw because you never know what a horse is capable of. <laughs> I'm sure all my accident prone horse girls can relate. Last but not least, it's Reggie's water. So mum actually took charge of this for me. Grab the buckets, grab Bugsy's water at the same time. She's very good at multitasking. Chucked Reggie's in. All I had to do then was grab a bucket of water to top up Reggie and Bugsy's water. I then moved on to Bugsy's stable where Reggie was very kindly nibbling the door for me. Very helpful, also very cute, so if we forgive him. I then gathered all my mucking out tools from doing Reggie's stable, took them over to Bugsy's stable and we got to work shoveling out this massive pile of straw that my brother had very kindly gathered together so it was very heavy to lift out although the thought was there so thank you for that George. We then filled the wheelbarrow up, so while George emptied the muck truck, it was time for my daily dose of Ted. And of course, Bugsy is there in the background, and he is an attention seeker at heart, and you can see him just begging for the attention. But then my daily dose of Ted comes to a halt because George comes back with the wheelbarrow. I then repeat the process of Reggie's stable for Bugsy, he gets his shavings down, shavings get spread out where he wees the most, and then he gets some straw down. After Bugsy's stable has been sorted, I put Reggie back into his stable because it is now time to take Bugsy on a little hat. So today, because of my photography, we didn't have much time to go on a long hack, but we made use of what we had and we went on a really nice hack around our fields in the local area. I start off by grooming Bugsy with this dandy brush because as you can see, he is molting like mad, his coat's so thick at the moment and it's been such a mild winter that he's really struggled with it and he has just been molting throughout. I then hoof pick his feet, of course, just to make sure he's nice and comfortable for his ride. Bugsy then takes some big stretches with his back feet. This is something he does quite a lot. It's really cute. When I pick up his back feet, he will just use the opportunity to stretch sometimes. I then get Bugsy's tack out and hang his bridle up on his stable door. I don't know why but I always start with putting the saddle on in my tacking up routine. It's just something I've always done. I know some people put bridle on first but this is just what works for me. So while I finish tacking Bugsy up I thought I would explain a little bit about him. So Bugsy is my 14 one Irish cob and he's around 15 years old. And I say around because we aren't actually sure on his age, 
The dentist says he's no older than 14, but his passport says he's 17. So who knows how old Bugsy really is. I've had Bugsy for five years and in that time we've done all sorts of things from pony club to hunch trials and so many hacks with friends. He's just the most perfect little pony and he's got a forever home here with us. So the final step of my tacking up process is putting Muggsy's bridle on and also wiping the sleepy eye out of his face because his eyes get so grotty, I don't know what it is about them, but they just need wiping every day to keep him feeling his best. So when I'm putting Bugsy's bridle on, he has this really funny habit of trying to walk away. I think he forgets he's tied up because he does just try and just set off. He's really set on going for a hack and I just have to remind him that he is still tied up and that I've actually got to get ready before we can go. And speaking of getting ready, my boots are the most disgusting things known to man at the moment. They really need a clean and I keep telling myself I'm going to do it but then it just gets put further back on the list because I'd rather be cleaning my bridles or my saddles and they just need to get done, I'm just going to do them one day. Before I leave I'll say a quick bye to Reggie and then I will go and retrieve Bugsy. He's really good, he does just stand and wait for me to get ready. I can trust him to do this, but please don't do this with your horse if you think they'll walk off because they will take that chance sometimes and Bugsy does too. I then hop on Bugsy and we are ready to go for our ride.
gonna rise each and every time and I've still got Tennessee oh yeah I've still got Tennessee oh my my, my. yeah winter in England is definitely the muddiest time of the year so when we got back from our ride Bugsy's legs were absolutely drenched in mud so I decided to get the hose pipe out and just give them a quick wash off much to Bugsy's disgust As you can see Bugsy is showing his absolute disgust in this clip by lifting his leg up He's really funny with his legs, he will just use them to express his feelings. He'll stamp if he's angry, if he's impatient, is that his little body language thing? Normally when Bugsy tells me something is upsetting him, I will stop or change what I'm doing, but unfortunately today I could not do that because I needed to hose his legs off. I then throw Bugsy's cooling rug on because it is actually quite cold in England at the moment and I just wanted to make sure he stayed as comfortable as possible after his ride. It is then time to put Bugsy away, put my tack away and head off to my photography event. So for those of you that don't know, I am an equestrian photographer on the side of many other things I do and today, the day this was filmed, I was off to an event to photograph. I did manage to get some footage at this event on my GoPro so I will put that in now and I hope you enjoy. afternoon photographing ponies I head home ready to dive in to a few hours of editing and uploading photos I really hope you all enjoy today's video I've got so many more exciting videos coming your way every Friday at 4 p.m. so stay tuned for those and I hope you have a lovely day bye